Hi, welcome to Harrington CDC ITQ3 Health Videos with me, Ron Taylor. We're going to have a look at using the ask field in a mail merge. The ask field can actually be used in forms as well and is a very useful feature. Basically what it does is when you are running a mail merge it will ask the user to input some text that isn't on the standard letter. So for example we've got a letter here um, with your sincerely at the bottom. There's no name there. You imagine this letter might be used by more than one person. Rather than having to change their name uh, before we run the mail merge, the mail merge will itself ask the user to insert their name. We start off by putting a ref field in the document and we can do that using the control F9 key. That's control F9. You could also do insert field. It's a ref field that we are looking for. We give this field, this bookmark is what has been created here, it's an internal bookmark. We can give this a name. I'll just call this signature and then we insert the ask field. Now the ask field can go anywhere in the document but because it doesn't actually show up in the final merged document um, but it does have to be before your ref. So I'm just going to put mine at the beginning of my main paragraph and we click on insert word field and then down to ask and here we've got the dialog box. We put in the name of the bookmark that we've created so it's um, signature We can have a prompt, that is what the computer will ask the user, so put please enter your name. And then we can have a default, because perhaps it's the one person who normally uses this, so you can put in that person's name. Oops. And then OK. And OK again. So we're ready to go now. We can run this mail merge and see what happens. I'm using the merge toolbar. Merge to a new document. Go to merge all the documents. And here we are, it's popped up and said, please enter your name. Now, if we want it to be the default name, we can just enter it by clicking OK. It asks this question for every letter that it is creating. So the first two letters I want to be from Ron Taylor. Just to show how it works, I can change that now and put John Smith in. Put that in a couple of times for a couple of the letters. And then we'll go back to Ron Taylor so you can see the effect. And then we've got the merge document. See the first one is from Ron Taylor. Ron Taylor. And the third one is now from John Smith. And so on. John Smith. So there you have it. You could put lots of refs in your document, so you could have that text appearing in lots of different places. It doesn't just have to appear once. Um, have an experiment.